Hello everyone, how's it going? Doctor Incompetent here, and let's play some Genshin Impact, shall we? Well, we are here on top of a mountain with child. Hey, Schnecken, good morning, my friend. Good to see you. I missed last week, everyone. If we didn't keep moving, we'd freeze to death. Because, uh... I was ill, and I uh, was so un unhappy to not be able to play. Uh, but I'm feeling better. I'm back. I'm ready to go. And let's see what we can do to return that Jade Chamber worksite. Or let's just restore the Jade Chamber, shall we? I am, Schneck. And actually, it was a pretty fast thing. It was just like a stomach bug. And so I was out of it for like two days, and then I felt fine. Just one of those kind of things. But thank you. All right, um, so it looks like as we are chilling, um, we can pull on either Gan Yu or Zhang Li, uh, which sounds fun. Just, just to see, you know, and you know, we got a Raven Bow, which, yep, okay, and then let's see about, uh, Let's do it again. Okay. It's a Skyrider sword. Not the best, but we can go to the shop. And we can... Uh, pick up... A... One here, at least. Okay. We can go back. And then we can try it again. Hey, Chayanta. Good morning, my friend. How you doing? Good to see you. All right, now we've got another Skyrider sword. All right, so that's about all that we can do at the moment, but we're really close on Primo's to pulling again, and so we'll get there, I'm sure, with the quest. So it says return to the Jade Chamber worksite, uh, which is over here, and I don't believe uh, that... Oh, I guess I can teleport right there, okay. I don't know what that was. Where am I? Oh, oh, no, it teleported me further away than I thought, but that's okay. I can still get there easily. Mm-hmm. Hey, Jayanta. You, uh, you got Mona wishing for Ganyu? Well, I'm sorry to hear that you, uh, you didn't get the one you were after, but Mona is cool. I, one day, I feel like I'm going to build, you know, a party that takes advantage la, la, la. of her. She's good for hide-and-seek. Alright, so they want us to go up, up here. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. I can't either, Chong Fang. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those Adepti, surely. Oh, mighty hmm. Adeptus, please give me your blessing so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful salary. <laughs> I like that. He's like, I want more money. This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply immaculate. Congratulations. This item is approved for submission. By when is security... I'm going to award you full marks for the Sunset Vermilionite item. Uh-huh. May I take your name? My name isn't important. I'm not even here to compete. Okay. I was just delivering this for some other people. All they right. should be here any minute now. Okay. Shenhua. Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No hey. wonder. The rarest talent turns in the rarest plostrite specimen. Binary, so good to see you, my friend. Yes, everyone, good morning. It's great to be here playing Genshin with you all. Hey, James, what is up? Good to see you. But I have to correct you on one point. It's not helper, it's secretary. <laughs> okay, then, Miss Secretary, what do you think of the rock we found? Pretty amazing, right? This rock is amazing. Oh, cool, you got Ayaka, Jayanta? Nice. In truth... It is the finest piece of plostrite we have received so far. 
If everything goes according to plan, we will use this piece in the foundation of the Jade Chamber, which will enable us to proceed to the next stage of construction. Oh, okay, this is going to help us float it up. Hey, Victory, what is up, my friend? As a side note, Lady Ningguang has rented some dwellings in the nearby area to serve as accommodations for the contestants. If you need a place to rest, you are welcome to stay there. Oh, thank you. Now, please excuse me. As you can see, there is still a lot of work to do on the building site. I see it. Shenhua, Shenhua. Just now on the way over, pretty much everyone was singing your praises. <laughs> they love you, Shenhua. Hey, Crab, good morning. I know, Crab. The same for me. I can't believe it's Thursday already either. It's crazy. You got Ganyu on your first 50-50? Oh, congrats, James. That's awesome. I'm pulling for Jean Lee, but I want them both really badly. Oh, really? What kind of reaction is that? So strange. Aren't you happy about it? Slow for you, Schnecken. That's a good spot to be in, my friend, when it's nice and slow. Oh, okay, Paimon. I've had similar compliments before. Wow. She ain't feeling it. You call me an adeptus. Treat me with great deference and respect, as if I'm set apart from the common folk. Oh, I see. Yeah, because that's how adept I are. At least the ones we've met are pretty unique and reclusive, too. Way different than normal people. But uh, I am not... Uh, huh. She's not an Adeptus? Oh, it'll be here before you know it, Schnecken. Are you alright? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Hmm. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go check in and take a rest. <sighs> no need. I simply need to find myself a secluded place in the wilderness to sit and meditate in silence. Mm. You can't do that. It's dangerous out in the wild on your own. Not for her. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice, comfy bed. All right? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. All right, all right. Um... Yeah, guest accommodations are far more comfortable than the wilderness. Okay. If you insist. We do. Great! Now we're talking. Let's head to our hotel. Yeah, we got free accommodations. It pays to be a hero. Hey, hey, Pipe Dream. What is up, my friend? Good morning. I'm, I'm trying to get this Jade Tower back in the air. Klee is all about helping. What's up all the way on the top, Clee? <sighs> Alright, here we go. Oh, I see it. Yeah, nice. If we land on the roof, they'll never expect it. This is a pretty chill spot up on the roof. I don't really know how you get here other than flying. There's, But it's not bad. What's up, Juwan? Hi there. Hey. Checking in, are we? You're we just are. In time. We only have two rooms left. Oh. Since this was chosen as the building site for the new Jade Chamber, mm -hmm. we've had a constant stream of people in this area. Okay. And not just workers either. Visitors, business people, tea sellers, all sorts. Awesome. So, business is booming for me today. Very it's few booming. vacancies. You're lucky you got here when you did. I am. Great. One of your rooms is still being cleaned. I, I guess it should be ready within the hour. The other room is just at the door on the left. Okay. Here are your keys. All right. Hope you enjoy your stay. Please excuse me. I'll leave you to it. Thanks, buddy. Shenhua, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Mm-hmm. Hyman's going to go see if there's anything good to eat around here. <laughs> Hyman couldn't help but notice one of the guests walk in with a... Grilled chicken drumstick before. Mm. 
Let's buy one for Shenhua too. She can have it as a midnight snack. Or save it for breakfast tomorrow. Good thinking, Paimon. All right. I will head to my room for now. But doesn't she just eat plants and stuff? Was she the one who just ate a bunch of, like, dandelions or weeds or something from Baidu's, like, uh, apothecary? I don't think she wants a big drumstick. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. All right, have a good rest. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We'll see you tomorrow indeed. What was that? It is. What it's our good buddy. Hmm. I bet she's got a new stove technology she wants to what teach us about. This is how you cook. God, what good music in this game. Hey, hey, Cloud Retainer. Klee's coming for you. All right. What's up? One trusts you have met Shen He. One so, is right. Are you getting along quite well? One could say that we are. So far, so good. Yeah. So you know Shen He too, Cloud Retainer? Spill the beans. Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. All the adepti living today are acquainted with Shen He. To some degree. Oh, Shen He. Cool. So, what's her adeptus name anyway? Hmm. Calling her Shen He feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking maybe it'd be better if we called her by her adeptus name instead. Yeah. Her adeptus name. Why pray tell would Shen He have an adeptus name? Uh oh, cat's out of the bag. They go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Wow. Oh, oh, right. Wait, what? That does surprise me. I'm trying to get Zhang Wei too, Pipe Dream. It's it's not gonna happen, but I'm trying. I never would have guessed. Neither. This is a real surprise. It's a huge surprise. Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? Yes, she d she presents most differently. She has well, rainbow eyes, for one thing. To start with, her problem-solving methods are extremely direct. Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. They are. One first found Pipe dream. By chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an ever vigilant disposition, one entered immediately to inspect the scene. An ever vigilant disposition. Yep, Cloud Retainer, that's definitely how I'd describe you. Inside was Shen He, then aged around six years old, in her hand. She held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. Wow, that seems like a pretty tall order for a six-year-old. That sounds so dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Wow. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally and are highly reliant on their parents for survival. But not so her. Not so. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with uh, which she was born. Uh, Shenhua? Homicidal instinct? Maybe we should... I don't know, keep our distance from Shenny. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. Only after she was satisfied that one had no intention to cause her harm did she finally relent. She then passed out without uttering a single word. 
Wow. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... So what, what they're telling me in the game is basically that me and Shenhua had the same childhood. Um, I found myself in a similar circumstance when I was six with a god's remains and uh, my homicidal instinct and bloodlust were all that really saved me on that day. But luckily, what found me was a crane in the form of a god. Uh, and I was able to recuperate from the arduous ordeal of a weeks-long fight. Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued, one suspects that Shen He may have still emerged the victor of the confrontation. Hmm. That's still so dangerous, though. Why was a tiny little kid battling against the wrath of a god in the first place? Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. And she had experienced her fair share of this, even at a tender age. Seeing that she was homeless, one decided to adopt her. Cloud Retainer is not exactly answering my question Indeed, here. It is one to whom she refers. Xiang He has an extraordinary constitution, making her well adapted to practicing the Adepti arts. All the Adepti cherished her talents, and so we were willing to train her. Wow. So she's a human. However, her homicidal urges did not subside with age. Oh, no. Rather, they grew stronger day by day. That's not good. Cloud Retainer, what kind of parent are you? You gotta help. She's like, all right, well, we saw that she was homicidal, and she grew stronger and stronger in her urges every day. So what we did was we gathered all the Adepti and started teaching her our powers to make her even more dangerous. It seemed only natural. Moon Carver once performed a divination for her. He declared that her fate is to bear the curse of calamity. Consumed by malevolent energy, she is prone to bring harm to those around her. Such is the magnitude of the danger this poses, that her soul must be bound with red ropes to keep her homicidal instinct at bay. Uh, is that metaphorical? Where'd you get those red ropes? The red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. Wow. Oh, so it's like she's physically wearing magical red ropes to suppress her homicidal instinct. So this is like, you know, kind of a West, no, an Eastern medical intervention for a psychological disorder like, uh, you know, homicidal instincts or otherwise being a sociopath. Oh, really? Honorary? Interesting. Well, we can just be it friends with her. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours... Please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you, and take good care of her. Okay. I oh, will. Oh, now Paimon gets it. You came out here I to feel you, Pipe Dream. Shenha because you were worried about her, didn't you? Beautiful girls bearing curses or demon souls, no matter their own temperament. Yeah, she has this kind of very flat affect, and then, yeah, she's got the curse of calamity. That's a tough one. That's a tough burden. But Cloud Retainer is cool. She's like, I'm just checking on my daughter. Huh. You dare draw such a facile it's not facile on the nature of one's present excursion. Incorrect. The truth is that while Liyue Harbor may seem peaceful today, danger is always lurking in the shadows. Oh, really? Ningguang once made a bold assertion 
that this is to be the era of the contract between Liu Wei and the humans. Well, one is most curious to observe how she will respond to the coming storm. If she handles it admirably, one is willing to be a witness to her achievements. But if she does not, the Adepti shall not hesitate to seize control. Oh, it seems there's still strife in Liwa between the Adepti and um, the Chi Seng. Interesting. I mean, you know, Cloud Retainer is kind of letting Ning Wong do her thing and take over gradually, but she'll step in if uh, Ning Wong slips up. That's cool, everyone. Thank you so much for explaining about Shenhua and her ropes. Uh, and I'm going to check out her appearance next time I see her to see all the ropes. Let us conclude our conversation here for today. One has occupied enough of your time, and night is approaching. Be sure to get ample rest. Okay. That's what I was trying to do, and then I saw you, like, creepily standing up here. Shenhua isn't an Adeptus after all. She just grew up around the Adepti. She did. Oh, no wonder she doesn't like being treated as an Adeptus. Having everyone falling over themselves to show their respect all the time must be kind of hard to deal with. Wait, what time? They said between 8 and 12. Okay, yeah, sure. Eight fourteen, perfect. Time is moving. There you go, Schnecken. You wanted time to speed up. I just did it for you, my friend. How about that? Oh, there she is. Oh, I see. Yep. Look, there's little red ropes and tassels all over her. Master has relayed my situation to you. I take it. Yeah. So she's got some in her hair. There's some around her shoulders. I see. Huh? How did you know? She's got red earrings. I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't hear you come in. I was worried that something may have happened to you. So I went outside to check and caught sight of my master. Hey, choose what? What's up, my friend? Thanks for following. How you doing? You need Paimon? As well, Einery, to speed up some time for you? I got you. On top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me this morning, causing me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. It's After true. After all, master is... very talkative. Wow. Yeah, I guess Cloud Retainer is pretty talkative in that weird, haughty way that she speaks. <laughs> Paimon was very That's wrong. Okay. I don't mind. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you sooner. Because in my experience, trying to explain is a futile pursuit. I think you guys told me this already, but can you get Shenhua as a, as a character? Still, though you mistook me for an Adeptus, you never treated me as distant and unapproachable. Instead, you treated me as you would a friend. Yeah, we're yes, friends. I am very grateful indeed. Oh, her banner is done. Okay. So there was a chance. Okay, thank you. So it'll come around again. To be fair, we've met our fair share of is she a five star? Too. Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend. Whether you're an adeptus or a human isn't the important thing. First and foremost, we're just plain old friends. Hey, hey, darkness. Thanks for stopping in to, to say hi, my friend. Good to see you. You have a great weekend yourself. Moldy Jello, good morning. How are you doing? So she's a support character, huh? I thought with her strength that she would be like a, a damage dealer. Interesting. What's that, Moldy Jello? Got it. Although I don't know quite what Peanut it butter? entails in terms of what I have to do. I must say I like the title, friend, very much indeed. Great! Well... Now that we're all rested up, we should start searching for the other two items on the list. Hmm. But before we do that, let's go to the building site and ask Ning Wong's little helper how the progress is going. I don't think you should call her Ning Wong's little helper. Sunset Vermilionite is so rare. 
Paimon doubts many competitors will really be able to find any. Hmm. If it turns out some of them have given up already, we'll be able to take things a little more slowly. Hmm. Oh, and another thing. We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just outside. Here's one for you, Shenhua. Try it! They're so good. I concur. It has a rich flavor. Far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. Oh, he puts ranch on his pizza and says it's delicious? I've dipped the crust in ranch before, but not actually poured it directly onto the pizza. Interesting. Melted Eraser, good morning, my friend. I'll get to try her out later. She's a cryo support. Oh, cool. Like, maybe as part of the quest you get to play as her or something? Yeah. Alright, I gotta climb these steps again, everybody. Alright, Klee. I hope you got your climbing gear on. We're going up. Let's see if we can just climb up this beam. Oh, that's right. I did get to play as her a little bit, didn't I? I forgot about that. All right, Schnecken, let's do it. This is an amazing one? That's great. Can I ask you guys this? If I finish this quest, is there more Archon after this? Or will I be finally caught up with all of the Archon quests? Oh, great, Darkness. Terraria is awesome, my friend. Oh, is it floating? But it seems to be tied down by oh, wow, they made great progress. That's because it's not finished. Oh, I I saw you last night, um, Moldy, someone that likes watching videos. I saw you post on the stream last night, but I didn't know who that was. Thank you for explaining. Oh, you know what, Pipe Dream? I don't think I did do the final part of the Inazuma quest because you guys said I couldn't win. Yeah, that's right. I forgot. I thought I was done with that Inazuma thing, but I need to get higher level. Hey, Violin! And hey, Beto! And hey! Uh, that's right, Moldy. No, I don't. Given the enormous scale of the Jade Chamber, we split the construction work into two phases to make sure the structure remains balanced. Before ah. we find some suitable plostrite, we build the Jade Chamber's keel at ground level. Mm -hmm. Once the plostrite is ready, we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed Jade Chamber rise up to the height of the surrounding mountain peaks. I mean, it looks awesome. This game is so cool. Like, look how fantastic this structure is. They have all of these cranes, you know, these, like, medieval uh, construction apparatus set up and the foundation is already there the plus right you can see it in the center the big stone that we got and it's already floating they're doing great oh two of you thank you so much moldy i've got some commands but not enough moldy i need to set all that stuff up just the two of us Boldy, thank you for the dual, the dual uh, following. That's awesome. So, yeah, the vision hunt decrees. The thing I'm worried about is fighting that uh, Archon again because she knocked me around so hard. The remainder of the construction work is then carried out at that altitude. Once everything is ready, we release the iron tethers and allow the Jade Chamber to rise to its target altitude. Miss Bywin, we brought some new materials to submit. Okay, Einery. She didn't... I, I beat her. We won, Moldy, but it was just the first part where you only have to get it to a certain... Like, get her down a certain bit, and then you would beat her, but it was a struggle. Like, my team was having real problems. That was one where uh, Chi Chi basically carried the fight for me because she could heal. One moment, I'll be right there. The construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plostrite provided by you. Mm. Lady Ning Wong is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work. Wow, can't believe you sourced the plostrite so quickly. It's the key piece of the puzzle. Looks like you beat us to the punch. Wait a minute. 
what is this? What is this girl with the bonnet with the pink and blue pom poms on it? Have I met her before? I know Baidu, um, you know, the captain, but that's a that's a new character. I was gonna say, I was like, I don't think I recognize this girl. Fado? You're joining the Jade Chamber contest too? <laughs> sure am. I happen to get my hands on a chunk of sunset vermilion island. On oh, nice. Back, so I figured I'd bring it over. I bet yours is pretty good, but uh, did you see the one we got? We kind of already won the competition, but good good luck. Huh. So even though it's rare, we're not the only ones who managed to get a hold of it. Hey, Protzi. Hello, good morning. Good to see you. Oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yoon, or Yoon Jin, probably the most famous figure in the Liyue opera scene. Oh my gosh. Miss Yoon, she's an opera singer? Hilarious. Oh, she's Geo, huh? So if I'm using her, does she sing in battle? Like uh, like Barbara sings? Can you make a team of people who sing? Like musicians? There's that, that one girl who's a uh, fire element who plays the guitar. You could like put her and Barbara and Miss Yoon together and have the... Oh, and Klee sings, and then you'd have a singing team. 